So this is what I want to touch back up on, okay? Y'all were mentioning about school and how school's ass and school's terrible and the teachers suck and things say, yo, yo, yo. <laughs> Look, for those of y'all who go to public school, the correlation between the public schooling system and the prison system are the exact same. But let's go back first and break it down. We got to break shit down so we can get to the goddamn solutions. So first and foremost, okay? I'm going to mention this, okay? Walk with me. I'm going to mention this. So when I go for my daily walks, there's a lot of white people around my area, okay? I see a lot of cop trucks, okay? When I go to my post office that I go to, there's a little tiny-ass precinct with hella cop trucks, okay? Ain't no more cop cars. It's 2022, nigga. Cop trucks. And on the side of the trucks... <clears throat> They all say, preserving our quality of life. I'm going to say it again. Preserving our quality of life. <clears throat> the average person would just walk past that or just look at it and, you know, not think twice about it. <clears throat> but free thinkers and intellects like us, we sit there and we preserving, which is basically protecting and sustaining our quality of life. If y'all didn't know, cops, police, officers, that is close to one of the biggest gangs in America. Okay? Yes, they are a gang. They have a symbol. They have handshakes. They have tin fork. They have a different lingo that, that they only know. Unless you have been in training, only cops will know. This is a gang. Let, let's get that clear. This is a gang, okay? Niggas in the street talking about some gang, gang, nigga. 267, nigga, man, fuck nigga. <laughs> you own nothing, broke ass. You own nothing. You have no land. You have no establishment where people can come into and, and learn something and you can build something up. You, you own nothing. So all this gang, gang, nigga. Nigga, I'm sliding for this, nigga. I'm, nigga I'm, whatever. It, it's, it's, it looks good. The white people are looking back at us laughing. And drinking a fucking, uh, drinking a goddamn, uh, blood drink juice. Look at that. With their with the, with the pinky out like this. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's what they doing with their time. While they are preserving their quality of life. Now, <clears throat> there was a moment in time when black people, black men, black women were not allowed to be police officers. Do your research. Study history. Whenever y'all see old pictures of cops in all black with all their guns and their helmets and shit, it's like they're damn near in the military, but they were just in North Carolina. <laughs> they were just in Florida. When the Black Panther movement was going on, this is what they were doing. And it was all white folks. All white men. Right? So how does it relate to school? Walk with me. I got you. So with the prison system and with the school system, what they're doing is preserving their quality of life because they are already rich. They are already wealthy. They know the secrets. Do y'all not know that what white people do with their time ever since they wake up to when they go to sleep, is they watch us? Oh, God damn, y'all didn't hear me just now. Y'all didn't hear me, y'all didn't hear me, y'all didn't hear me, y'all didn't hear me. I just said what white people do with their time. They wake up and they watch us. They, no, 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 no. Y'all, they sit there and they watch us on the news. Lil Pookie got shot around the block. Shut up the grandma house and little kid got hit in a car accident. They watch us. They systematically control and watch us on the news in real life. These cops do the... Bro, what? Niggas talking about drive-bys. The cops do the drive-by. The cops came up with the drive-by because they were driving by to see what the black people were doing with a tenant window, to see who here, to see who in the trap, to see how many people, what time they come, what time they go to sleep, what time they, they you know, 
Who outside? Who the big homies? Who the... They, this is what they do. How does this relate to school, JB? With school, it's the same shit. It's the same system, y'all. It's the same system. The teachers, if y'all are out at recess, in the yard, it's lunchtime, it's break time, whatever. What are the teachers doing? They are patrolling. They just don't have guns. They might have walkie-talkies. Y'all, y'all gotta look, bro. Y'all gotta look. They might, the teachers might not have guns, but they got walkie-talkies though. They patrol the yard. They walk around and they walk around the lunchroom. They walk around the cafeteria. And I'm not even about to go to the depths of talking about how the 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 bricks and the alarms and the single file lines and the formation being in formation being informed with the law and the system is how the how it is in the jail system too. Once you hear that beep, your mind goes, "Oh shit, I gotta get somewhere." Once you hear that bell, beep. Guess what? Same thing with the inmates. The inmates who were outside. Ain't no word need to be heard. Ain't no word need to be heard. Ain't no word need to be said. Once you hear that beep, time to get to class. Beep, time to, hey, all y'all inmates inside, come inside. And then the ones who in, who is inside, they get to go out. You see? Now, now that y'all know that, now that y'all know that, okay? The way we can preserve our quality of life is coming up with our own shit. They got their own lingo. They got their own, they got their own parent-teacher meetings. They got they, they conferences. Who, who's the bad kids? Who's the good kids? Do y'all realize they sit there during the summertime? And after all the information they have inferred and took from the students from ninth grade. They realize, okay, I can't put Deshaun and Jaden in this class. No, I can't. She's a new teacher. She did. Guys, use your head. This is what they do. So the reason why a lot of y'all are miserable, the reason why a lot of y'all are miserable is because you let them, you let them put their beliefs onto you. You let them dictate how you move, and what you say. Now, of course, the bells go off. You got this class, that class. Great. But man, nobody can take this away from you. When I was in school, I was on a question limit. <laughs> I had a question limit. I was. I sat in the front. My fresh... No, 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 no. Whatever. But I always sat in the front. I always sat in the front. I talked a lot. I talk a lot, but I learned a lot. I learned a lot. <clears throat> I would ask all type of questions. Some I didn't know the answer to, and I was genuinely asking. Some I did. You know, I was a real intelligent, smart ass motherfucker in school. Y'all, I was on a question limit. And then when I would get tired and because I'm done my work and bored because y'all niggas are stupid, why am I listening to you? I would get up, go to the bathroom, and walk around the school. See who in PE class, go to basketball locker room, get some books, you know, man, get some snacks from the vending machine, fuck off for a little bit. You took mighty long, Jaden. Where were you? I was, you know, my stomach hurt. Stomach hurt, man, yeah, you know. Guys, those of y'all in school, what you need to do, right? I'm, I'm going to just tell you blatantly what you need to do, okay? Because, yes, it's the same exact thing. The prison system versus the school system is the same thing. You, you eat the same shit that the inmates eat. Realize that. You have the same breaks that the inmates have. Realize that. You might have a longer lunch, maybe. But just think. There are more inmates in a prison than there is in a school. Now, if you go to Texas, Florida, them niggas got about 5,000 people. You know, it, it, That's different, right? But... What I'm saying to y'all is in the school system, in the school system, y'all, there is a quota. <laughs> Yo, 
Y'all not hearing me, bro. Y'all not hearing me, man. That's okay. I don't give a damn. <laughs> in the school system, there's a quota. In the prison system, there's a quota. JB, what the hell does a quota mean? Every single month and every single year, there is a quota for the school and there's a quota for the prison system. So let's let's say Craig, 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 you're an officer, you're a cop, you're a fed, right? You're a newbie. You don't really know as much as you know your boss or this sergeant or that. You know, you don't know, you don't know that much yet. You're a newbie. You probably like you've been working there for about three, four months. You just excited to get paid and you know help the world, right? <laughs> Protect the world, right? Protect and serve. What y'all be saying? Protect and serve. Yeah. Okay. So, what a quota means is, Craig, what you must do, what you must do is you must arrest, pull over, and or stop a certain amount of people monthly. Sometimes, just because cops are bored, they will pull you over. Sometimes just because cops did not have enough uh, heads, they will pull you over. They will stop you. And they will come up with something. Your tail light was broke. But you come out, you, you walk out the car, you realize it's not broke. Now at work all of a sudden. Lacks in the registration. Just, you know, I saw you speeding going fucking five miles over. You know, you didn't you didn't fully stop at a stop sign. Bullshit like that, right? That's the quota. So guess what, y'all? The next quota is, hey, Craig, what I'm going to need you to do is I'm going to need you to arrest. We need more heads in this system. We need more heads in the school. Because guess what? That's more money. Every single head. Guys, y'all not hearing me. Y'all not hearing me. Every single head in the prison system is accounted for. No pun intended. Every single head in the prison system is accounted for. There is a bail. There might be a trial. There's definitely a judge and lawyers, which is more money, appointed with a lot, most of these inmates. Are y'all following me? So when you do the same thing with school, and I, like I said, I went to a private public school, so all of us, all of us paid. All of us paid. But y'all who go to public school, it's, since y'all are not paying the price, y'all are paying the price in, in heavier aspects. So the food that y'all get is shit. Uh, you know, fights. The Y'all might not have cops around y'all shit, so y'all security is ass. The teachers fucking dropping out and just leaving y'all to sit over there and, you know... Bro, y'all got teachers that are sleeping in the back of the class while y'all just trying to learn and do some fuck off. Come on. Like, you know, the price to pay with public schooling is different than private schools, but definitely here nor there. So with the schooling system, y'all, have y'all ever seen an accountant or a banker, a bank teller associated with a school? Or a prison? Type one if y'all have. Type two if y'all haven't. Let me know. Let I might I might be I might shit. Man. I, I might not know something. <laughs> but you better bet your last motherfucking dollar that everybody is accounted for, nigga. Everybody is accounted for. You have never seen no accountant for a jail. You have never seen no accountant with school. Ever. Never. You just pay and pay and pay and pay. Wait, who? Where? Do we? The financial. And, and look, even if I got a financial advisor, they don't, they just get, they just get to see how much you owe and what you paid. That's it. They're not doing the exchanging. They're not doing that. You never see that. So I'm saying all I have to say, bro. Think about it. Think about it. Every 
single day. I'm miserable when I walk into this goddamn school. Every day. Every day I'm miserable. Every day I don't want to be here. Every single day I don't want to be here. So, wouldn't you think you would have to change your mind or change some things that you do at school? Right? Right, right or wrong, y'all? Right or wrong? So here's solutions, man. Here's solutions. We all we know the quota. We know they got they got they got to bring heads into the school. They got to bring heads into the prison system. We know this. They and look. And I went to a school where we were we were overly packed. So the desks that we had in most of our classrooms, we had to get extra from different places because the quota the quota was overly met, and they needed money to fund us. You see what I'm saying? So here's the solutions. All right. I'm going to give you all a little, a little rundown. Top of my head. You ready? Number one, what you must do is you must wake up. You must start your day. You must wake up and start your day with something fun. That's, that's so important, y'all. That's so important. You must start your day off with something fun, something uh, uh, laughable, something, okay? For example, when I was getting out of my mental sadness and all that other freak-ass shit that, you know, I don't like to address, what I did was I put on one song every single day. And Snapchat was big, you know, a couple years ago. Everybody was getting streaks and posting on these stories and shit. So I would post on my Snapchats, me getting ready. I, I'd have my clothes on already, sometimes, maybe not. And I'd be brushing my teeth, and all you would hear in the background, my love, do you ever dream of a honey And I would be, every day, it was, it was like a ritual for me almost. Every single day, I would put that on my Snapchat story and I would have people come up to me at school and on the weekend and it would be like, yo, what's up, Candy Rain? My love, do you? Because that's what they would know. And even them watching my stories, they would be like, oh, shit, this nigga seems like he having fun. So guess what? When I would go to school, I'm all smiles and sunshine. Of course I don't want to fucking be there. Of course I don't want to fucking be there. Who want to waste our time doing this shit? I'm on a question limit. I got to sit in the desk for all these fucking hours. Who want to sit there and do that? Come on. Come on. What am I, a fucking robot test dummy? No. I'm a human. I need to... I'm not, I'm not a human, but you know what I'm saying? I need to get up and stretch my leg. Oh, sit down, JB. Sit. God damn. I can't do nothing then. Oh, Lord. You know? So that's number one. Get up and do something fun. Do something fun. However that may seem to you, however you may deem that, do something fun. Number two. Number two. You must go to school with a smile. I'm, that, may be, that may be difficult for some of y'all. You must go to school with a smile. Y'all already know college is scam. Unless, you know, you need to do you need to do your work, your occupation. You know, you have an occupation that needs you to go to college. It's a scam. It's bullshit. It's it's a bigger it's a bigger high school. That's all it is. It's still the same friend groups, niggas who going to the party, who doing this, hanging out and shit. Or same shit. It's just bigger. And you might be living on your own, which still comes with more consequences and responsibilities and come on you must go to school with a smile on your face number three number three here we go you ready number three this is what you must do you must trick your brain you have to trick your brain into being like oh shit i love math class i love my students i love my teachers i love my my friends and all this other weak ass you must trick yourself because guess what? One thing we know about time, time goes by when you're having fun. 
because time slowly evaporates whenever you're having fun, you see? So next thing you know, you at lunch. Next thing you know, oh shit, damn, day's over. And last but not least, I'm going to give you this one, bro. I'm going to give you this one, man. You have peers for a reason. You have peers for a reason, man. If y'all don't start opening y'all's goddamn mouth and start talking to these people, bro, this is how, you know, these these school shootings and these robberies and these killings, and this is how this happens, bro. Nobody is seen in school. Do y'all realize that? Everybody in school need a hug and a dab. That's it. A hug and a dab and some love. This, nobody is seen. They got this nigga in the corner. He go to the library every single day. Those be the ones, bro. You, man, y'all, you will be so shocked and so surprised to realize how many people wants and needs a hug and just somebody to talk to, bro. You will be so shocked to realize that this nigga has been invested in crypto ever since he was 13. We're now juniors in fucking high school. But just because nobody talked to him, he didn't have shit to share. Well, shit, I ain't gonna... If nobody gonna ask, then I ain't gonna tell. Sometimes people just want to talk. They just want to talk. Oh, what's up, man? How you doing? How difficult is that? But see, if you didn't start your day off with something fun, you up uh, tired, you drool on a goddamn desk. If you didn't go to school with a smile, drop my on your phone. Come on, bro. It's steps like this that make your time go by. It makes the time go by. It makes everything less dreadful. Okay? And mind you, I didn't say shit about taking care of your books. <laughs> I didn't say shit about taking care of your schoolwork. I don't give a fuck. Who cares? Who cares? Just don't fail. Don't get an L. If you hate it so much, why would you want to go back in the summertime when, you, when, when it's your off time? That's kind of stupid. That's actually really retarded. That's really stupid. That's, no, that's like really stupid. Why would you want to go back? Voluntarily or involuntarily. Why would you want to go back? <laughs> Just get a D. Get a C. Pat. Get yo. Bye. Summertime. Get out. <laughs> you know? So, and I will also, you know what? I'll give, give y'all a bonus. Bro, whenever y'all can, man, get y'all's fucking work done at school. Don't wait to actually make it homework. That's stupid. Y'all, that, that is how the system continues to grow. That's how the seed continues to grow. Because you bring your home, a.k.a. your work life, with you. Y'all's mamas, y'all's parents, what do they do when they come home from work? Oh, well, Tamika was, oh, bro, she, she's so ag. She always want to act like she know it all. She want to come home. She, she want to come to work and act like she know what she's talking about. She don't do no extracurricular shit around her. I'm the only one that's helping uh, helping Bob. Bob over there sweating. We getting ready for the goddamn interview. We got three interviews in a day. Tamika just sitting there on her phone, eating chips and on her lunch break early. Bro, you don't let it go, but you hate it so much. You hate it so much, but you continue to give it attention. You continue, you, you continue to give it energy. That's actually slow. That's act. No, that's like that's the definition of retardation. Like, like no funny shit. That's that's the actual definition of retardation. And it's not a mental illness. It's just like you're, you're slow. Like you're 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 less advanced. You're you're really slow in the mind. Cause that's what you say. You say you hate this. You say you hate your job. You, oh, I gotta go to work. Man, I gotta go. man, fuck school at. But you take it with you everywhere. It's like your your it's like your 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 glued on backpack. It's like your glued on fucking helmet, nigga. Like I can shake my head all I want, but my helmet is never coming off. That's how y'all view this shit. But y'all hate it though. What? That doesn't make sense. 
So get y'all's goddamn schoolwork done at school. Don't bring it home. That's 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 definitely a great tip right there. That's definitely a great tip. Finish all that shit at school. Okay? And what was the other one I said? Oh yeah, start uh opening your mouth to people, talking to people. And trust me, next thing you know, you're gonna be a senior walking down the aisle. Yeah, be happy, yeah, be happy, bro. Yeah. So here we go. So we got, so yeah, there we go, y'all. So we got, so we got number one, start your day off. Yeah, start your day off with something happy. Could be a song, could be, you know, your, are you brushing your teeth? Come on, Michael. Come on, Jamie. Come on. All right, mom, I'm coming, shit. I'm going to leave. I'm going to leave your ass. The bus about to leave. Hey, you know what I'm saying? You having a party with yourself before school. Step two. I'm smiling right when I get there. What's up, y'all? Hey, what's up, G? What's up, G? You want some breakfast, dog? What's up, G? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, nigga. All right. Boom. Number three. Number three. Be happy, man. You gotta trick your brain. I'm good, no, bro. I like, bro. This, this, this straight. This straight. Especially if y'all got chicks in y'all's fucking school, bro. Why are you not? Why? Why are you complaining? Why are you complaining? Why are you complaining? You got chicks in your school. You got chicks right here, sitting right next to you. Man, I'm talking to them all. Oh, got Jaden, stop talking. Okay. You look, pass some notes. Bro, you got to have fun. Pass some notes to them. You know, oh, all right. Okay, so y'all, here's a time where we can all uh, do buddy buddy study, okay? Um, y'all get with somebody around the class and study. If, if I hear any of y'all talking about anything else besides social studies... You're getting kicked out. All right, teach. All right, man. I'm going right with goddamn Cassandra. I'm going right with um 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 Beverly. I'm going right with uh yeah yeah. <laughs> what up, Mariah? What up, girl? Yeah. I'm going right with her. Talking about social studies. We gonna be passing all type of notes and shit like that. We gonna be talking about philosophy and life and they parent. We gonna talk about all type of shit. Next thing you know, beep, bell rang. School done. See? Look at that. All right. And then last, bro, finish your work at school. Finish your work at school. Don't bring that thing. Don't bring that shit. And open your mouth, dog. Start talking to people. Start talking to people, bro. And that's how you do it, man. That's the guy. That's the guy right there. I just gave it to you. That's the guy. 